At the beginning of summer, my daughter's left arm was paralyzed. So we decided to build a robotic prosthetic arm to help her. And this is an update on that project. Okay, Good, Dad. When I pull my, my bicep, it senses the signal and pulls the arm up. And then when this I... This is making it go up and down. That's right. It's like a real human's body. Yeah, it's like a muscle, right? So we've made a lot of progress since the last update video. We've had some amazing people help us. Uh, James Chin has helped us design the, the layout and the placement of the actuator, um, taking into, into account the, the stroke length of the actuator and the torque requirements to pull up Lorelei's arm. He's uh, designed the, the most optimal place to, to, to put the actuator, so he's, he's helped us tremendously with that. We've also had help from Jose who has taken those designs and started to create a 3D model of what that joint and actuator would look like and how that movement could, could work for Lorelei. Um, Jose has also been helping me a great deal uh, setting up the, the circuit to run the muscle sensor and the Arduino. Um, this is the first time Lorelei and I are working with the Arduino and the first time we, we're really looking at electronics so there's a lot of uh, a lot of things we need to learn. There's a steep learning curve but Jose has been helping us a great deal in getting our minds and getting our, our heads around um, around setting up these circuits. So that has worked pretty well um, and we built our first working circuit that uses the muscle sensor, the MyAware muscle sensor, to, to recognize a signal that is being pushed through to my bicep and then controlling the actuator and pulling that up and down as needed. Jose has also been printing out the 3D model of the joint we're trying to keep this whole prosthetic to below 150 grams and that is extremely light considering that most prosthetic arms are quite a few pounds or at least a kilogram or so and and that is simply too heavy the Arduino and battery pack will be kept on her belt or in her pocket 150 grams is a very very audacious goal and that's on the order of 10x reduction in weight based on, on what's, what's readily available. Other than that, we are having some continuing issues with the MyAware sensor. It could be because of my poor uh, soldering skills, but other than that, everything else is, pretty, is going pretty smoothly. We also have received these amazing actuators uh, sponsored to us by Actuonix, um, an awesome company that, that looked at the project we're doing and immediately sent me an email saying, listen, we, we want to help you. We want to sponsor you and your daughter with some actuators. So thank you again to Actuonix for, for that. One of, the, one of the cool things we want to do and, and one of the things that, I, that I'm pretty adamant about is, is to make something beautiful, to make something pretty to make something that, that Lorelei would want to wear and would want to show off. And so Lorelei and I are, are definitely aiming to design something beautiful, lightweight, airy, something that, that allows her skin to breathe, something that's comfortable. But ultimately, we hope that by designing a prosthetic arm that uses her existing muscle signals, which are extremely weak, will uh, help her rehabilitate, rehabilitate her arm and there's, there's significant research now coming out to show that this is the case, that these types of mechanisms are, are really working. And we've, we've seen numerous research papers that have shown that exoskeleton suits are helping paralyzed and paraplegic um, individuals regain the use of their muscles and, and their legs and their arms and so we we're taking a lot of inspiration from that research in designing this prosthetic so 
really excited to get this going. Um, so that's it for this week's update. Thank you so much for all your support. And if you have any recommendations, please let us know. All the best. Bye-bye.